think the English Department at Misericordia is one of the strongest that I've seen. I've taught in a few different states, New York, uh, Louisiana, and I've traveled around Europe and I've seen different departments. And the one thing I really like about the English Department at Misericordia is that everybody supports each other. Every spring I teach studies in Shakespeare. It's required for majors and minors, but also sometimes I have occupational therapy majors take the class, or physical therapy majors, or even sport management majors. Uh, for example, we did <laughs> Hamlet's dysfunctional family for a psychology class that was studying group therapy. And we role played Hamlet, Claudius, Gertrude, Ophelia, Laertes, and Polonius, and everything was ad lib and the students had to try to work with us and they had a really difficult time. So it worked really well. <laughs> and we actually explained how learning Shakespeare will help them with 21st century citizens. We recently invited Dr. H.R. Stoneback, a professor of English at SUNY New Paltz and also a world-renowned Hemingway scholar and poet to come to Misericordia to give a master class on literature uh, and also to give a poetry reading in the art gallery. We had Shakespeare 450, which is a celebration of Shakespeare's birthday on the occasion of his turning 450 years old. We had our inaugural Shakespeare birthday lecture by Barbara Soika. We also had a member of the business department reciting Shakespeare. English classes are at the core of the liberal arts curriculum. So every student coming here will learn how to write better, communicate more effectively, and also every character we come across in literature is a case study. So for example, if you're a psychology major, you may draw connections, you may diagnose characters. It also makes them think about the people behind the issue. I think one of the great things about reading literary fiction is that you realize there's a human involved. And I think for um, particularly the profession, professional studies, um, the sciences and businesses, it's always great to kind of have this humanizing factor to it. The Italy trip, which is offered in June, it's a three credit course open to anyone. You don't have to be an English major. And it immerses the students in Italian culture and literature. So you actually live in an Italian apartment, eat Italian food, learn about the culture and the literature, which I think is fantastic. And the other program we have is brand new. Uh, we have an articulation agreement with the University of Reading in the United Kingdom where our students are pre-accepted to their master's program. So they will complete a master's program in five years provided they maintain uh, a high GPA at Misericordia. So it's a great opportunity to earn a master's degree a little bit quicker than in the States um, and also to have the experience of living abroad. That personal level of interest is something that made a great impression on me here through writing conferences with professors where I was able to sit down and talk about my paper with them and they actually give very detailed feedback to just general questions that I might have about how things were working at the school or about possibilities that I was thinking for my career. They were always willing to sit down and talk about it. Every study that has come out recently puts creative thinking at the top of the skill list for uh, jobs in the businesses, jobs in all of the sciences and mathematics. English is the perfect major to have. Students go on to medical school with a degree in English, they go on to law school, they work in nonprofit. And recently we've seen businesses say they'd prefer to have English majors, including Google um, last year actually said they prefer to hire majors in the humanities over um, computer sciences and IT. Uh, well, I would say that the English degree was instrumental in me getting my first job right out of college, which was as a grant writer. From there, I kind of developed an interest more in the law. And after graduating law school, I got my job basically right out at Bloomberg. Um, I actually started out teaching while I got my master's degree uh, right after graduation and have, you know, moved up to now I work for the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. It's a small department, so it's a very personal department. Uh, you get to know your professors very well. It's not just one person in a lecture hall of 300. It's a room of 12 sometimes where you're really getting to know that professor. I think that's one of the strongest things we have here is that we really have one of the greatest support groups and true genuine passion for literature that I've seen in a, anywhere. We're here for the students. They are our number one concern. Thank you.